Hey guys, it's Norm from Tesla.com here at Comic-Con 2016. Now I'm here with Brandon Shiflett, who's one half of the Shiflett brothers. You and your brother Jared have an amazing booth, so striking because you guys have amazing sculptors. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Thank you. So I want to learn about your collaboration, where you guys started, and what the, your influences and style is. So how did you guys get started? You know, we got started by sculpting things on our own, one of a kind, bringing them out here to the San Diego Comic-Con. And that's where we got discovered. We got really lucky, you know, with who saw our stuff and when. And we got hired to work on uh, statues in the collectible statue industry. Mm. We did a little bit of video game work and a little statue work, toy work. And so we did a lot of like Marvel characters for Bowen Designs, the Juggernaut, Thanos, and that kind of thing. But at some point, we, what we really wanted to do was create our own characters. And so what we're doing now is a bit of a sort of concept design sculptures. You know, we're making them up as we go along. And that's what we're really, really loving right now. I see a lot of fantasy elements, a lot right. of almost steampunk, half mechanical, half organic. Yeah. What is the style that you and your brother, resonates with you and your brother? Well, what affected us was were these legendary fantasy illustrators, most notably from the 70s. Frank Frazetta was a big deal to us. We love the French artist Mobius massive influence. Jeffrey Jones, these guys. These comic book artists slash fantasy illustrators who would, who would both draw and paint. We really draw inspiration from those guys and we want to kind of convert that style into three dimensions. And when you're talking about in the three dimensions, like in illustration, it's the front. You're, you got to take into consideration all directions, all sides, That's and right. at different scales. Uh, you guys all sculpt by hand, all play sculpting? We do. We're traditional sculptors. And we have a lot of friends who use programs and they're very good at it. And we've seen some amazing stuff. But for us, we want to feel it in our hands, that tactile element. And we don't want to lose that. Our, our work has a bit of a rough look, a sort of hopefully organic, but it's certainly raw. And I'm not sure we could achieve that with computer programs, mm. but we, we want to try to keep this method, the traditional method, alive with, well, you, with clay. What you mean by rough is uh, I, I see a lot of digital sculptors, and they're very talented and great stuff, but those of almost look like characters that come out of the, uh, some alternate world right. and are perfect, and maybe caricatured, but here you can see the sculpting right. in the work. That's right. My brother often says he wants it to look like the sculptor just got up from the table and walked away. Oh. And so we want that fresh, spontaneous feel. We look up to people like Rodan, who had that sort of rough and raw feel to his work. And that's the aesthetic we like. You know, not everybody does, but enough people do. And with our work, it seems to be the other artists who, who like that sort of unfinished look. And um, that's what we enjoy. How does the collaboration process work? Do you guys work on sculptures together? Yes, you, individual do. ones? What's, can you walk me through that. Yeah, so we work together. We, we pass pieces back and forth. And whoever's idea, whoever started the piece kind of gets final word. They have the hammer, you know? So they, they can art direct and say, no, I don't think it should have wings or I don't think it should have horns or I do think it should have this or that. And so we go back and forth. He starts one, I start one. We switch them off. And uh, because we, we love these fantasy illustrators and we both come from comics, we have very similar aesthetics. Mm. And so we want the, out, the, the finished product, we have a very similar idea of what we want that to be. We've never had a problem working as siblings. Uh, it's been great for us. Is it almost like a conversation when it, you start something and pass it is. on? He says something in the piece, passes it on, back That's and right, forth. that's wow. right. And we use a lot of artists and comic book artists as shorthand make this a little more Simon Bisley, make this, this, yeah. this headdress needs to be more Mobius. And right. he knows what that means, you know? And uh, that's how we communicate back and forth. Now, some of your things are one-off, some pieces are one-off. Right. Some of them are kits, some of them you get cast in bronze, bronze materials. Yes. Um, can you tell me about the spectrum of work and, and how each process makes a piece different? Yeah, absolutely. And some of our pieces are, are done in both, like resin or made of statue and bronze. Um, the one-offs are for gallery shows and a certain kind of collector, mm. sometimes for a magazine article. And that's a lot of fun. We, all re we started in resin kits and we still love that world and we love statues. The bronze process is a far more complicated casting process. And we use a fine foundry in Texas called Deep in the Heart Art Foundry. They're real craftsmen at what they do. 
as is our resin caster, Steve West. The whole mold making and casting part of it is an art in and of itself. It's something that we don't do ourselves. We leave that to very talented people who do that. We, all, we sculpt them all this in the same way. We generally use Super Sculpey, which is a polymer clay. But when we get the finished product done, we send it off to our mold maker, whether it's the resin or whether it's bronze, and they bring, give us back the finished product. Do they ever come and say, that's too complicated. I can't, yes. I can't mold that, simplify well, that form, make it more balanced. That's right. That, and what they say is, I can't mold that, I need more money. And then <laughs> we, because you can basically mold anything if you have the time and the will to do it. So um, yeah, it, it, we, we honestly consider that part of the uh, partnership. You know, and we put those people's names on our advertisement, sculpted by the Shiflet Brothers, cast by whoever cast it. Because like I said, these guys are very talented at what they do. So mm -hmm. we consider it a joint venture kind of. And a lot of our audience out there love buying kits. We can't wait to see some of these because we'd love to get some of these and sculpt and paint them in our offices. Thank you so much, Brandon, for Thank chatting you. with me. Thank it's you, such man. a pleasure to meet you. It's an honor.